my name is Zena Berkey and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, I'm a young adult fiction author and today I am answering questions that you guys asked. Uh, I just basically wanted to do a q and I haven't done one in a really long time. I've done some live versions where I do like a QA and a and tea where basically I drink a cup of tea and I invite you guys to join me and we just chit chat and hang out. Um, and I kind of did a, like a Q&A sort of thing on Twitter the other day just in a live video. Um, but recently Sophie Mates who is a YouTuber friend of mine in England, she did a QA and a and it was actually really funny because um, um, I for one love the different questions that come up in Q&A's but a bunch of people I guess asked her if she knew me or how she knew me and so we had been chatting about it before and after and I was like you know what I need to do a Q&A so I posted and I got a handful of questions and it's actually kind of fun because not all of them relate directly to cheer um, so I thought it would be really just fun to answer here we go starting our Q&A <laughs> uh, so up first CA underscore underscore page p-a-i-d-g-e asked favorite stingray team uniform and music um favorite stingrays team i would say probably steel or orange i really need to check out beach rays because i know they had what was it the highest or maybe it was just beach stingrays beach was it because they had the highest score at cheer sport um i haven't seen them at all yet i think they're a senior four um uniform orange. I love it. And my nails kind of match them right now. Those are my two favorite colors. Blue and orange are my two favorite colors. I love green as well, but blue and orange. So um, yeah, definitely them. And then music. I'm obsessed with Steel's music this year. I love orange as well, but I'm obsessed with Steel. And a lot of the other teams I just don't listen to, unfortunately. Um, so definitely Steel. Like the line, like, um, send your toughest and roughest and we'll stack them like brick and mortar. I'm obsessed with that sentence. I'm literally obsessed with it. I don't, I don't know why. I just am. Uh, next, Orange Rays underscore asked, if you could choose only one team to win all of Worlds, who would it be? Uh, please, I love you and want to meet you. Oh, P.S. I love you and want to meet you. Um, hello, first of all, thank you for sending in a question, and who knows, maybe I'll be at Worlds in one of these years. I don't anticipate there being a 2020 Worlds necessarily that I can attend, but anyway. Um, so let's see, if only one team could win Worlds, honestly, this season... <sighs> I went to answer, and then I kept thinking of more teams. It was like, okay, it's definitely this team, but then I thought of more. Um, so can we do, like, my top five? I don't know that that was the question, but I'm going to answer top five. Um, first of all, TGLC needs needs to happen. Um, Woodlands Elite Black Ops needs to happen. They need to go 3-2-1. Um, Vancouver All-Stars, Blackout, and or Ice Queens needs to happen. Smoed needs to happen, because that's my favorite team and then senior elite because they need their moment um and that's just to name a few <laughs> um part of me would say though that like of those I would say of those I'm most wanting TGLC senior elite and Woodlands elite black ops to win and of those three probably senior elite I think I want, like, oh gosh, this has been their year and I want it to be their year, like, the entire way. Um, so again, a lot of teams, but I think Senior Lee is probably what I could narrow it down to, but again, lots of others. <laughs> All right, next, uh, super.seniors.4L asked, uh, favorite non-tumble team and favorite lower level team? They have another question they asked first, so that's why they said also. Um, but favorite non-tumble team is definitely Code Black, followed immediately by, of course, Lady Lux. I also love Intensity, Athletics, Adrenaline. Um, I, uh, was there going to be another one? There's a couple other ones. My brain is like a Rolodex, and I'm like going through all the different cheer teams and stuff. Um, but definitely Code Black. Like, that's my team. They've been my team. I love them all so much. Um, I, ugh. I just love them. I want them to have a chance to win Worlds. We'll see if it happens, if Worlds happens. Um, but yeah, definitely them. And then a lower level team, Fierce Tigerettes. Those are my girls. Those are my girls. Um, absolutely love those ladies. Love all the parents. Just everything about that team, that gym. They are amazing. Um, they used to be level, they were all girl level, uh, senior three, sorry. And then they went to senior four. And um, I just love them. After the experiences that we had together in 2018 at both ATC Bellevue and then especially at Summit, they will always be my girls. That will always be the team. Um, I love tons of lower level teams, but like they just have this place in my heart that can't ever be changed <laughs> like period uh up next how did you get introduced into the chair world this is from super seniors for life um long story short let me know if you guys would like a full video on this one because somebody else also asked this question um let's see it was a t jord 
Um, she also asked that as well. So that's two people that asked. Um, but basically, long story short, I grew up watching uh, cheerleading on ESPN when I was in middle school. I always loved it, thought it was amazing. I used to watch like dance, gymnastics, cheerleading, figure skating, all those different sports. But I especially loved cheerleading. And then I was not involved in cheer for a really long time. Social media really didn't exist. And I wasn't necessarily on what did exist. And so a handful of years ago, I got reintroduced via some kids at camp. They were cheerleaders. I was going to a couple of like local showcases. I found cheerleaders on YouTube, got back into the sport, got back into social media, started actually following teams. We have YouTube now, so I was able to like watch things on YouTube, got really into a lot of stuff, and um, eventually, through going to competitions and watching comps, got inspired to write my cheer series, which led me to YouTube. If you would like the full story, please comment in the comment section. I would love to make a video on this. In fact, I kind of been planning to for a while and just haven't, so let me know if that's something you would like to see. All right, up next, all-star cheer flyer Shelby asked if you could give yourself one piece of advice as a child, what would it be? Um, I think a piece of advice that I would give myself is just to like absorb it and learn and grow from it. I, I'm not the kind of person that looks back on my life and is like, I wish this wouldn't happen. I wish that wouldn't happen because I think um, as much as I want to tell myself like, hey, you know that one boy that you like liked way too much in middle school, like don't worry, he's not worth it. If it wasn't for those moments, I wouldn't be who I am today. Um, or if, you know, if I had told myself, like, hey, I know soccer was really hard freshman year of high school, but stick it out. You're going to make really good friends if you stay, so you should do it. But then I might not end up on speech team, and I might not have ended up majoring in theater. And, like, there's just so many different things. Um, so I guess just, like, telling myself to, like, hang in there. You're going to get through it, and it's all going to serve a purpose in the future. Um, just because changing anything might not make me who I am today. And I've learned so many lessons and been able to do so many things because of what I've been through and been, you know, like, had happened to me or I have experienced that I wouldn't want any of it to change. All right, up next, Bella all Bella R. Holcraft asks, who do you look up to the most in the cheer world? Um, I am really inspired by a lot of different coaches and gym owners and teams. Um, definitely Eddie Rios and Ori Orta are absolutely amazing. When I had the opportunity to meet them, I fangirled so hard. Um, and, like, they're especially aware of it. Like, they know. They know I was fangirling. In fact, Orby told me he was fangirling, and I straight up to his face said, you can't fangirl over me, I'm fangirling over you. And Eddie has been repeatedly reminded of the fact that I was like a complete mess when I met him. Um, so definitely the two of them. And then also, um, Courtney Smith Pope. I'm just so blown away by her. And then, um, Victor and Kristen who are, is it Kristen, Christine, Kristen, Kristen, uh, from TGLC. Like they're like just innovative and amazing and fantastic. Um, I'm also really impressed by some of the like younger people that I know that are just amazing. Like, like I'm good friends with Robert Sienna and to see him go from like an amazing athlete to this like coaching choreographer that pours so much love and affection into the kids that he works with. It is beautiful and amazing. Like being there with him when he's like watching his teams perform is beautiful and I love it. And like getting to see him as they're like coming off the mat is just like precious. Um, so just like seeing that work ethic is amazing. And like Gabby Butler and just like how much she has done with her cheer career and her life is amazing. All right, up next, I love my siblings, one, two, three, four, five. Hi, girl. Uh, she asked, what's your birthday? My birthday is September 25th. I was born in 1985. I am an old lady. It's a true fact. And also, I think my birthday is on like a Friday this year. So get ready, guys. I'm probably not going to have exciting plans. <laughs> Last year, I went to England and Ireland. So like, you can't really top that. You can't. Like, what am I going to do this year? Like, go to Chernobyl? <gasps> that would be amazing. That would be amazing. That's like my dream destination spot. I know it wasn't a question, but still. Um... So yeah, Frederick, thanks for the question, and September 25th. All right, uh, Noah Beach asked, if you made a cheer gym, what would you name it, and what would the name of all the teams be? Um, and that one's actually really easy for me to answer. It would be the TNT Force Cheer Gym, and I would name all the teams after different explosive items or, like, fire and things. And if you guys know me and you've read my books and you know that's actually the gym I created in my series. Um, so I've literally, at least at, like, the mental capacity level and on paper level have created a gym and uh, my so I have my series it's the TNT Force Cheer Series it is the only young adult fiction series about all-star cheerleading and um, it is all about a young girl that enters the cheerleading world and I didn't want to make it an already existing gym because that could like step on toes and cause issues so I went with TNT Force there are gyms out there that are called TNT but none of them are TNT Force and um, all the different teams have to do with 
explosives, oh, excuse me, or um, flammable things. So like there's like blast and nitro and fuse and flame and bomb squad and detonators and all kinds of different teams like that. Um, in fact, I'm working on book seven right now. And as you guys are watching this, I'll be posting like crazy on social media. But if you're watching this like the day it goes live, uh, coming up this Monday, so January, February, March, I always have to count. It's just who I am. Uh, March 23rd through 27th, every single book in the TNT Force Chair series will be free on Amazon on Kindle as well as all of my other books. I was hoping to kind of just give you guys a free week as we go through this like kind of corona quarantine period. Um, I just want to encourage people to read and if I can do anything to help people get free book sources um, I wanted to do that. So if you guys don't have an actual Kindle, you can get the Kindle app or you can read through your Amazon cloud reader. Um, unfortunately, I can't make like the paperbacks free or anything like that. Um, if you're really interested in an audiobook, message me. But for now, I wanted to make all the Kindle books free. So TNT Force Cheer, that would be the name of the gym. It is the name of the gym I semi-created, although I don't know that I would ever create my own gym. I would rather just support every single gym and team out there. So yeah. <laughs> All right, and the final question is favorite non-cheer related YouTube videos to watch. Guys, this is like a lot of things. I'm gonna be really honest. I go through phases. I'll go through phases where I don't watch a certain channel for forever and then I watch like all of their content. Like literally two nights ago, I watched probably like an hour's worth of how to cake it. Um, I just love how to cake it. I go through phases where I don't watch any Simply No Logical and then I finally catch up on her stuff. I'm actually wearing a Grace Helbig shirt right now. Um, she has been my favorite YouTuber for a really long time. She isn't creating as much of the content as like that I first started watching when I started her watching her channel, but I still definitely love her. Um, I watch, uh with uh, Trixie Mattel and Katya. Um, I always love watching like the Drag Race recaps, different things like that. I'll watch Beauty Gurus from time to time. And then one of the other really like big areas of YouTube that I love watching, well two things. One is like documentaries. I love just like learning about people that are different than myself and getting it in a documentary style versus like a news show um, where you get to like go into the life of someone. Like I find that stuff so fascinating and so cool because like it's really easy to like hear a fact about a type of person in a certain you know culture or religion or um, you know ethnic group or whatever but to actually see their life and see someone that represents that lifestyle and that world is very very cool um, and then the other one is urban exploring I love abandoned places I am extremely obsessed with Chernobyl so I love watching different explorers and stuff like that in fact um, exploring with Josh is probably my favorite um, his grammar drives me crazy sometimes but I definitely love him and I love watching all the different places that he explores um so there's been some really good series that he's done and um yeah there's there's like a couple other ones I actually made a video about my favorite urban explorers and I've done a little bit of urban exploring it's definitely something that I want to do going forward um in the springtime and into summer as the weather is nice I want to be able to like go hiking and go places and check out abandoned places they're gorgeous and fabulous and wonderful and I love it um I've made two videos of, of um, exploring abandoned places one was a um state a former state hospital here in Washington state and one was a former state hospital in Michigan um so you guys can check those videos out but basically I watch a little bit of everything all the time sometimes weird things pop up in my suggested oh and I love watching musicals I literally watch star kid like non-stop all the time like this past summer that's all I watched and I love watching the play that goes wrong um so I watch a lot of stuff like that for sure too so basically a little bit of everything but I always tend to like fall back on urban exploring and maybe musicals that those are probably the two biggest two biggest categories <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube though guys it's just it's great I love it all right so that's it for the questions not too many which I think is okay because it's kept this video a little bit short um, but if you guys are interested in finding out the full detailed story of how I got interested and invested in the all-star cheerleading world please let me know in the comments but in the meantime if you guys have enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and then comment below what question you were the most shocked by um, what question you already knew the answer to let me know what team you would love to have win worlds I think that was maybe my favorite question if only one team could win worlds what team would it be um, if worlds happens who knows I don't um, and then also if you have any other questions feel free to let me know in the comments I might answer some of those and then who knows maybe I'll do a Q&A and T live video here very soon since you know quarantine's continuing for forever it feels like not actually forever so there's that uh, finally though make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you find out as soon as new videos are posted I will be posting videos five days a week right now um, I'll be doing my best to vary some of the content I will be doing some reaction videos if you watched yesterday's video I did an update on Big Brother Canada 
Um, I'm gonna do some makeup videos where I do lashes a little better than this, basically just because it, it'll, it'll entertain myself a little bit. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's any specific video you would like to see as well, but make sure you guys are subscribed with those notifications on so you find out when they're posted. Um, I'm gonna do everything I can to entertain you guys during this entire break to take your mind off things, especially for people who are stressed or bored or whatever. Um, speaking of which, make sure you guys head on over to my uh, Amazon page. I will link it below, link all the books below. Um, but basically, all of my books are free on Kindle next week so take advantage of it please like pick up a free book I'm like I'm not selling them like I'm literally giving away the Kindle copies for hundred percent free please pick them up enjoy them um, there's the cheer books there's the non cheer books they're almost completely all young adult fiction so please enjoy um, thanks to everyone though who sent in questions I really really appreciate it we'll definitely have to do one of these videos again soon uh, for now though please everyone stay safe and I will see you all see soon I can't use words.